Well, you gotta love it. Here's the TA or Petro in Little Rock. Went ahead and fit out online at like 11 o'clock this morning for putting the work order. Get my oil changed. And of course, get here. They can't find me in the system. This and that. What's your company name? I try to tell them. They can't find it. It's just one big freaking mess. And the girl finally like, I showed her my phone confirmation order number and everything. She's like, oh, okay. Well, then of course, then they want to know who on contract with. I'm like, that's not what it's under. It's like, I'm paying for it. I own my tractor. I pay for it myself. Not the company. I pay for all of this because I own the truck. Oh, okay. I, th I guess she finally got me. She's like, well, I'm going to try to get you in next. It's probably going to be about three hours. <laughs> Gotta love freaking Chase and Petras. I thought I got here a pretty good time, 5.45. Of course, it is a Friday. I guess everybody's trying to get their mess done before, you know, before the weekend so they can chill out over the weekend. But I figured this would be a good time to do it. Do it while I'm actually um, resetting. Damn. I splattered something. I don't know what that blood goes to, but it goes to something. Rough. And of course, as soon as I got near my truck, Pandora picked back up. Of course. Well, since she says it's going to be about three freaking hours. I might as well lay down because I'm doing this on my 10 hour break. Because I have a choice. I can get the oil changed here while I'm on my 10 hour break. Or I can get it done in Kansas at a Loves. Because I've already spoken with the customer. I get to unload tomorrow. Instead of unload Monday, I'm going to actually unload tomorrow. He's like, Well, can you be here at 8? I'm like, no, I said, I'll be around lunchtime. He's like, well, wait till about one or two. He's like, we're having a big sale and there won't be room in the parking lot for y'all with all the cars coming in. So wait till between one and two, and then you come in, we'll unload you tomorrow. I'm like, sweet. So my butt's on there tomorrow up in McPherson, Kansas. So that means if I get the oil change today, I get there tomorrow, I unload tomorrow. There's a Love's about a mile and a half down the road from where I'm unloading that. I don't get a discount at the Loves, like I was saying. But that would be ideal because I'd have second half of the day Saturday, Saturday night, all day Sunday to get it done. But if I get it done now, I can chill out. When I get there Saturday, I ain't got to do nothing. I go and I park. I pop on some Wi-Fi and I'm chilling because Loves gets free Wi-Fi. So I can Netflix and chill, catch up on some movies. So... Yeah, to me, that's the better option. Um, the only one I try to think ahead. Plus, they have all day Sunday to chill out, too. I can go to Walmart, stock up. Even though I really don't need much because I'm going to go home next Thursday. And then take, like, next Thursday. So I'll take Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday off next week. Take four days off. Then get back rolling on Tuesday. So, you always want to try to think ahead. Since I can do it on a 10 hour break here, save money because I get a discount through NASDAQ as opposed to Love's, which is actually higher priced on their oil changes anyway. So I could do that, but then I waste time there. So, you know, it's all how you want to play it. But I figure if I get unloaded tomorrow, Monday, I don't have to wake up early to go in there and hurry and go unload. Monday, I can just chill out and sleep in until she calls me and say, okay, I think I, uh, I, think I found you something. Because then by the time, you know, she gets it booked and all that mess, and I'm, I've had time to get up, go in there, brush my teeth, get me a fresh refill, pre-trip truck, and by the time she'll have confirmation, has some addresses and for me to, to head to. So to me, it's better to go ahead and get this unloaded tomorrow. So that's why I say, again, like I have in other videos, always call the shippers and receivers if you can. Because I had a number in my information sheet, which... You know, they said call an hour before, but you know, I was told schedule for Monday delivery, eight to two. 
but on the bill of lading that came from Amazon here, it says driver must check in as vendor returns. And then it also says can deliver 51 or 53. So if you can deliver 51 or 53, why not take the 51 option? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so to me, that just made more sense. So that's what I'm doing, y'all. I just say work smarter, not harder. So I guess I'm going to put my clothes up. Because I bought, did all my laundry yesterday. I was home, so I got a whole bunch of clothes. I'll put them up, and I guess I'm going to crawl into bed until today call. She said it'll be about three hours. So go ahead and get me a little bit of a nap before before they call. And then, hey, it's all good. I'll pull in there, and I'll get the oil changed, and then we're good to go. We'll rock it on, y'all. Anyway, peace out, y'all.